All right, that one hurts. Um, you know, I thought our guys fought for the uh, for the entire game. Four quarters, uh, four quarter fight. You just can't start off slow against a really good team. We obviously started off slow. They weren't, uh, you know, they won a lot of critical situations as far as third down. We thought third down was a place that we had to be good. They had, uh, they were effective running the ball. We didn't do a good job stopping the run, and then we weren't able to run the ball. And uh, you got to be able to run the ball in games like this. So we we'll open it up. How you doing, Coach? LT Willis with TV Sports TV One. Even though you guys lost, what's going through your mind knowing that, hey, you know what, this is the last Pac-12 championship conference, so what's going through your mind right now? That's the first question. Yeah, really nothing necessarily uh, just about this game. I'm just, you know, I know how hard our players work. I hate to see them finish on that note. I, I know we're going to get an opportunity for a great bowl game. I want to see those guys go out there and compete for that, but I have to give credit for uh, to Washington and Coach DeBoer. They did a great job. They had a good plan. Um, executed well, but hurting for the guys in that locker room. And then also, you have the credit of your defense for giving you opportunity to stay in the game. So what do you say to, about the way your defense played tonight? Well, I mean, we, you know, we were in the game, um, but we didn't play well enough. You know, we didn't play well enough on either side of the ball uh, to be able to win against a good team. We certainly uh, had a chance all the way down to that very last minute, um, and I appreciate our guys' fight and effort for that, but starting off slow hurt us. James Crepe from the Oregonian. Dan, we've celebrated your run defense all season. It's a top 10 unit. It's on pace for a program record season. In the fourth quarter, it gives up over 70 yards, over 150 to Dylan Johnson. When that's the difference, what was the problem tonight with the run defense? Yeah, we were putting, you know, I'll have to go watch the film and see exactly what happened. But um, we were putting an extra hat in the box there at the end, um, and th they were breaking for extra yards. They had some successful runs. Um, we didn't have their number. They had ours. And, and how much of an impact did Jordan Birch being hurt early impact the run defense tonight. And you know, Jordan Birch is a great player. He certainly makes us better, but that'd be an excuse. You know, there's nobody that's playing healthy at this time of the season. Um, you know, they they're they're banged up too, and uh, we didn't you know we didn't finish. Uh, Coach Mike Hill Matthew with uh, FI 360. Just what's your thoughts on uh, you know Bo's performance tonight? The way that he was able to you know rally the guys and get you guys back in the in the game and nearly still in this one. Well, I think it just speaks to who Bo is. I mean, he obviously brought us back there to, you know, be with him one score there at the end. You know, his explosive run showed his legs. I thought the guy ran extremely tough tonight. You know, opportunities he had to run. He put his head down and did everything he could to get the first or get explosive plays. Um, made some elite throws. You know, that last throw in two minutes was really special. Um, so, you know, Bo did what I've seen him do all season. He competed to the very end. Um, you know, handled some adversity, um, and when it set in, he responded to that. And, you know, walking away, I don't know, three touchdowns, a really long run. Um, I'm impressed with our quarterback. Coach, obviously this is the last Pac-12 game. Uh, Jordy Fee, Pla Cronkite News, sorry. Uh, this is obviously the last Pac-12 game of football. Um, what are you going to miss the most about this conference? Well, just the competition. You know, this is a, this is a great year, um, you know, for this conference. I think you saw a lot of really good football in this conference this year. And, uh, you know, that's the, that's the piece you'll miss. Matt Prem, 24-7 sports. Just you talked about the lack of a run game. What, what didn't work for you guys? Yeah, I thought they – I mean, they had a good plan. They had, um, you know, hats in the box. There were some times that I thought, you know, we, we could have been running the ball into some, you know, positive looks. And for whatever reason, we weren't able to do that. Um, you know, they played well. I think you have to give credit to them. And I think I could probably dive into the film to be able to give you better answers. James Kirby with the Oregonian. It was the least accurate performance for Bo tonight. And I realize we're grading on a very hard curve where 62% is low. But what was it where when he's used to 70, 75, 80 as of late, that this was a tougher night for him from an accuracy standpoint? I mean, the guy threw for three touchdowns. Um, I thought Bo had a good performance. You know, Again, we started off slow, you know, early in this game uh, to have two, three and outs to start the game off. You know, that put us in a hole. Um, we're playing catch up a lot of game. We talked about it at halftime. Hey, we're going to go score a touchdown here. Defense is going to get a stop. We're going to get an opportunity to pull ahead. We did just that. We just didn't maintain that lead. Um, our quarterback gave us a chance tonight. Eric Scuppel, 24-7 Sports. What was working in the middle of the game there where you guys scored 21 unanswered and, and why weren't you able to continue that success after? Yeah, I thought we found some positive runs, um, you know, there to where we can get a little bit more of a rhythm. You know, positive. We were off schedule a lot in the first half, you know, where you're operating in second and ten, and now it becomes third and long. Um, you know, to be able to, you know, that, that drive out of half, to be able to convert two fourth downs, you know, I think was huge. Um, but once we got behind a little bit more, we had to be a little bit more aggressive in the passing game. It wasn't going to be a game where we can necessarily run it, but you have to establish the run a little bit earlier to have that success. 
Kenneth Perry, Touchdowns and Tangents Network. Coach, your only two losses are to this Washington team. What do you say to the committee, especially since obviously Bama's out there, they have a loss, Texas. What, what would you say this, why this Oregon team still deserves to be ranked in, let's say, the top six? Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, not really for me to decide. I think everybody saw our guys fight out there. Like I said, they never threw in the towel. They worked their tails off uh, this entire game. In a game that we probably faced some adversity we hadn't seen. We've been down uh, in some games this year, you know, by, by two scores to be able to come back and respond. Um, again, I think this team's been playing really good ball throughout the season. Um, and to finish it off with that note, you know, that's kind of a sour taste in our mouth for sure. Um, but I'm excited to see what bowl game we get. I know we'll get a great one, have a great team to go compete against. Spencer McLaughlin, Locked On Podcast Network. Coach Bucky Irving was pretty bottled up tonight, and Jordan James had some really good plays. What was the thinking on the sideline offensively with when to go with one guy versus the other? Yeah, just trying to find a rhythm. You know, both those guys are really good players. Um, you know, Jordan certainly had some successful runs, um, you know, and uh, they were certainly clued in when Bucky was in the game that he was going to be touching the ball. So I'll have to go back and look at the film and see, you know, what existed there. But, you know, you got two talented players. You want to figure out how to use them both. Brenna Green, Coin uh, in Portland. Coach, when you were leaving the field, you 180'd, stopped, turned around, and looked. What made you do that, and what was going through your head in that moment? I was just thinking about our players. You know, I just want to be around our players and, and um, let them know how proud I am of them. You know, grab a couple guys that I can make sure. You know, there's, there's disappointment in that locker room because of how hard these guys work. I haven't been around a team that works this hard and uh, hurt for them because I wanted them to have this one. But, again, credit to Washington. You know, they earned it. They deserved it. They played a four-quarter game. Um, we probably played the last three quarters. We didn't. We didn't start off very well in the first quarter. Uh, Alec Dietz, register guard. Um, obviously, we talked talked about Odunze all week and trying to limit him. And then you know Polk had had the big catch. Jalen McMillan had over 100 yards. What what just makes them so hard to defend? And obviously, you guys were banged up at corner too. Yeah, they, they have. You know, you can't take away one guy because they have other guys. I thought they did a good job in protection tonight. You know, we tried to be aggressive at times with pressure, um, and they probably made us pay for that. You know. Um, didn't have the tight matches that we needed in the back end, and um, they finished. We didn't, right? There's times we're hitting them. We're getting really close, but the ball's getting off just before, and they made some big-time big, big time explosive plays. We didn't have as many explosive plays offensively for us uh, in this game, so credit to those guys. Matt, 24-7 Sports, you said the standard here is very high. 11 wins has only happened three other times. How do you just want this team to define its season? Because something obviously hurts, like you said, but it's also been – Something that ha hasn't happened a lot here. Yeah, we, we, you know, we want the standard to be that expectation. You know, we have a high expectation for ourselves. There's nobody outside of this room that wants us to do better than that. Those guys in that locker room and uh, you know these coaches, they uh, they know what we had this year. We have a special group this year, but it's a building block, right? Um, we're in year two. This is an opportunity to build onto this and set the expectation for what it should look like in the future. And we got an opportunity to go play in a really good bowl game, right, and cap this thing off the right way. Uh, Tyson Alger, the I five corridor. The three games you've played against these team, this team in the last three years, have been three of the best games in college football. The last two seasons, decided by nine points. What's the difference between you guys and Washington in that they've been able to finish these ones out those three times? Yeah, I'd say critical moments. Like I said, we were we were good on fourth down tonight, but we were three of ten on third down, and they were ten of fifteen. Right, you got to be better on third down. Um, you got to be able to establish the run. You know, we last time we played these guys, we were able to run the ball. We didn't have, you know, didn't have that success tonight. Um, but again, credit to them. They've been good in critical moments, and uh, we didn't finish. Spencer McLaughlin, Locked On Podcast Network. Coach, your secondary was without Jalil Florence tonight. Kyrie Jackson was kind of in and out. How challenging was that for your defense to go up against that receiving core with, with guys kind of coming in and out and playing guys who maybe haven't played against players of that caliber a lot this season? Yeah, I'm not. That, that's a cop out for us. You know, we have guys that practice really hard and prepare all week. Um, you're banged up. That's this, it's that point in the season, and they have talented players. We we're going to challenge ourselves to be able to handle those players when they're running the ball with the success they are. You have to load the box, and that's going to put guys outside on islands a little bit. Um, but I thought our guys came in and they competed. You know, they just outplayed us tonight. James Kirby of the Oregonian. The uh, you mentioned the third down stand on the third and nine uh, late there uh, in the in the fourth quarter. Looked like a design run by Bo that got stopped pretty much for no gain. Was it designed? What, what was the 
thinking on on that third down call. Yeah, they were in dime, you know, so they were they were in a light box. Um, we didn't pick up the movement well, you know, when when you're playing dime in a light box, that's an opportunity to have an advantageous run. We emptied the box with a you know bolt motion, um, so they had they had less hats in there than we did. We had enough to block them up, but we just didn't get it blocked properly, um, and and they made a great play.